way out. Meghan and Harry in a dilemma and deeply sink into dirty money vortexes royal rage. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been slammed by a royal expert who said self-generated publicity is the name of their game in a brutal takedown of the Sussexes. Caroline Aston launched the scathing review during an appearance on GB News on Saturday where she suggested how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have adopted a method to ensure they remain in the public eye through their work away from the royal family. She suggested how such an example of this was seen during a recent visit to New York which resembled a state visit. Ms. Aston slammed, the meetings, the greetings, the pomp going on. This oh-so oh private couple that stepped away from the glare of publicity. And yet seemed to have become extremely public property. The royal commentator went on to acknowledge how despite her own feelings, there are quite a few Americans who are calling for the Sussexes to drop their titles. She added how critics also question their numerous state visit style appearances despite no longer being part of the royal family or carrying out official visits. Ms. Aston claimed, there is always something happening with the Sussexes. And let's face it, self-generated publicity is the name of their game. She continued by suggesting that this has to be done in order for the pair to earn them the mega buck deals. The royal expert added this means that the Sussexes can continue to fill those coffers as she tore into the bear. But in a tongue-in-cheek jab at the California-based duo, she remarked how the Sussexes' financial support from Prince Charles was so cruelly emptied down to the last few millions. The comments come as the Sussexes stepped out in New York for their first joint appearances since the birth of their daughter, Lilibet Diana, on June 4. Harry and Meghan attended as they participated in Global Citizen Live, to promote equal access to the COVID-19 vaccine as well as a reading at a school in Harlem, New York. But the couple came in for some criticism for the visit, including the fact that they traveled back to Montecito by private jet, after being vocal about the effects of climate change. While royal commentator Katie Nichols slammed, turning up at an underprivileged school in Harlem, in a couture coat that costs more than the combined incomes of most of those parents at the school. It doesn't make any sense. It just shows them to not be in touch. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will reportedly not be making the trip to the UK for an event celebrating the life of Princess Diana. The event had been rearranged for later this month due to the coronavirus. But Harry and Meghan are not set to be among the 100 guests, which will include his brother Prince William and stars including Elton John. A spokesperson for the Sussexes confirmed that the couple will not be flying back from their home in California for the party, reports The Telegraph. It comes after Harry flew back for the unveiling of his late mother's statue. The Duke of Sussex had posed with his brother William as they ripped the Meghan was not present with him on that trip as she had just given birth to their couple's second child Lilibet. It was always thought that Harry would once again return for the party in his mother's honor. Prince Harry was recently reportedly left on the verge of tears after a royal family snub. The Duke of Sussex was said to be incredibly upset over a snub towards himself and his wife. Harry, aged 37, was with Meghan Markle, his wife in one of their final royal duties at Westminster Abbey. The pair joined their family members for a Commonwealth Day service at the landmark location. Commonwealth Day service